Welcome back to Jensen's Habitat. Today we'll be showing you how to make an Indian stick egg insect enclosure. Our friend has rescued a few Indian stick insects and today we'll be showing you how to keep them safe inside your home. In this tutorial you will need one or two sheets of um, kitchen roll, a small container, your stick insects, there is quite a few breeds of stick insects but this will work for all of them. You can have a plant of choice, either rose, bramble or ivy. You'll need a lid for your air to come in, so air holes. You'll need a squirty bottle to keep your stick insects hydrated and keep the plants in good condition. You'll need a container about three times the size of the stick insect's body length so they can shed easily. And you'll need a plain brush to transfer all the stick insects into your habitat. For the beginning of making your in stick and second enclosure, you'll just need to line the bottom of the container with a couple of sheets of kitchen roll. I recommend folding them a bit so they both so they all fit in there. Like this will make sh this will comfort the stick and sex for like an actual soft brand. With the bottom of the container line, we will now be putting the plants in. To put the plants in, you will need to put a little bit of water in the bottom to keep the plants hydrated. After you've put the water in, you want to take the kitchen roll and scrunch it up and put it in the container, but don't make it touch the water. This will keep the stick and sex from drowning in the container and... Um, Dying. When you've got your kitchen roll put in the top of your container, you want to put the plants in the side of the kitchen roll like this. When you've put your plant in your habitat, you will want to take your spray bottle and you want to spray the leaves lightly. You want to make sure to do this every day because it gives the stick insects a drink. My helper is going to transfer my Indian stick insects into their habitat. You want to be very gentle with your paintbrush because you can really easily damage the stick and sex ledge which could also cause death. You kind of just have to let them crawl onto the paintbrush themselves and cling onto it and then... We're going to end this bit here and we will be back when we've got the stick and sex transferred into their habitat. Right, so we've got four or five of the stick insects transferred into their new home. A lot of them can be a bit feisty and they, want to, they, they do roll up and pretend to be dead. So don't think your stick insects are dead and chuck them out. All you want to do is gently tap them with a paintbrush and they will come back and start moving around. But here my mum is transferring one off a leaf. <laughs> You've got to be really gentle with these insects as they are really, really fragile.
after you've completed these steps, you've successfully made yourself a stick insect habitat. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you can get warned when every new video gets uploaded. Apart from that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!